what's going on you guys keeping a real tarot here coming to you with a pick a card hope all is well with you guys hopefully you're enjoying the summer if you're in the states shout out to my subscribers new and old hopefully you're in good spirits though and good vibes because if you're in the states it's been very hot the last two weeks people patience is at an all-time low you know so hopefully you're in good vibes so Today's um, title is, How Does Your Partner Family View You? Shout out to my subscribers, no old, for coming through holding the vibes, building a channel, subscribing to the channel. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. We have three pals. This is pal one, pal two, pal three. I don't know what's going to come out. So again, take what apply and leave the rest. i see you on pal one. Hi one, if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you. Hopefully this reading is useful. The title today is How Does Your Partner Family View You? Shout out to my subscriber, the new and old. What's popping with you guys? Visitors, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Take what apply, leave the rest. And we're going to get started. Okay, so you have the Seven of Pentacles over here. Starting out, came out, started out with the Seven of Pentacles. So, the Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and then you have the Temperance on the top row. So, with the Seven of Pentacles, what I'm getting from this, your own partner's family view as somebody kind of timid, somebody that holds back, somebody that, um, not too comfortable with being around them. You have the Seven of Pentacles. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. It's like you're open to being around them. You're very, you're somebody that's grounded. They look at you as somebody grounded, but somebody that's not so open and so loud and so, so boisterous or so, you know how you have social butterflies that's immediately they meet somebody's family and then they all in their face. You're not like that. They look at you as somebody who dressed different, somebody who could be opulent somebody that's well reserved so you kind of timid you have the timid reserved energy you have an energy of someone that very observant as well they think that you're very smart they think you're very balanced hmm. some of you could have long reddish hair or brunette hair you could be a Sagittarius for the ones who have talked to you or know you they know that you are very smart you could be like borderline genius you could be like a philosopher you have a lot of knowledge if you are observant individual if that resonates with you they see that you you try to make sense of what's going on around you so you're somebody that's very you're not judgmental they don't think you're judgmental if you are judgmental you kind of hold that to yourself you don't like just display your your judgmental side i can say some of them see that you're very how can i say you come across as innocent some of you they um they family view you as somebody different from people who they've normally dated before for some of you or they or they feel you you're not really comfortable around them you have the ace of wands that's crossing the reading so some of them see you as somebody that's very passionate somebody that's very pretty and nice looking somebody that's creative somebody that's sensual some of them want to talk to you they want to be with you. They wish they met you first before their family member have met you. You have the seven of wands down here and then you have the justice. Some of you could be a Libra or Taurus energy. But again, it's this like kind of rigid energy. It's like or a shy or timid energy. For some of you guys who now, if you are a type that know the family and you are somebody that interacts with the family, they feel like you are making their family member pay for something that they have done to you you are blocking them from the home you're not letting them in a home you kick them out of your home for some of you 
You're putting up a whole lot of resistance toward them. Some of you will change the locks on them. Even if the family, some of their family has showed up at your house trying to defend the situation. If you have kicked them out and, and left them burdened and threw their stuff out the house. You don't care. You believe that this is just what you're doing. And with that reaction, there's a reaction. They believe that some of you guys are the empress. I'm thinking that this whole pile have this type of en empress energy. Even if you haven't really stepped into this empress energy, you are the empress energy. You're somebody, again, sensual. Somebody that's abundant. Somebody very pretty. Very long hair for some of you. Very curvaceous. Some of them wonder how did they get you? Where did they find you? How did they, how did they get you? Some of you could have strong Gemini. Your Venus could be in Gemini. Or their Venus could be in Gemini. They feel that you are somebody that delves in the occult. Somebody that's knowledgeable of the occult. But the Ten of Wands here as well. Some of them feel like they are running from their baby mother. Because if you look down here, when I put it back down, it looks this way. So they feel like... um. They're picking up their, they want to leave their baby mother for you guys, some of them. They want to head towards you and balance the scales with you guys. Let's start clarifying it. What time is it? Clarify, do I want to use, oh no, yeah. Oh, I want to use that deck, continue to use it, but then clarify this empress. How does, see the five of wands is here. Some of them have, um, some of them, there was some, fighting and warring going on, some ego at play here. So some of them feel like you are a person that have, uh, how can I say? Some of them, you, some of, they family members feel like you guys don't like them. You feel like you better than, better than them for some of them. But they feel like there's some competition here, some ego here, some fighting, some warring going on, some immaturity going on here as well. Some of them take what apply, leave the rest, but some of them feel like, um, there's some immaturity going on here that the situation needs to transform. Clarify um, a gift. Somebody need to make this right. Somebody need to bring you a gift and make it right. Because the Empress is a gift to any situation. An Empress is all queens in one. You get what an Empress, a real Empress, a real divine feminine or masculine. You could build and grow anything. So this is what they think. Some of you guys could have been born on the 17th of any month. Or you could be born in August. Clarify this Ace of Wands. How does Power One family view? It says unexpected income. So you have the Ace of Wands and unexpected income. Some of you have created something that came into money. Or you somebody that could be like a, hmm. yeah, I'll say it. Some of you could be a, a philanthropist for some of you guys. Some of you could help out the needy. Now, whoever the needy is, I don't know. Let me come. I don't want to use this deck to clarify this, though. Hold on. Whoa. Clarify this Ace of Wands. How does Pal One family view them? No, I, I, what, what I was talking about. In my mind, I said it right. It came out wrong. How does Pal One partner family view them? Clarify this Ace of Wands. It says exposed, fragile heart. Too open and danger of heartbreak. Okay. Some of you, I will say this like with the exposed. Some of some of them view view you as somebody that worship this person. And this person could be using you for money. Some of you have come into money. Some of you have manifested money. Some of you have created something that have um produced money. I just got a download, and I really don't want to say it, but damn, I'm, I'm told to say it. Some of them um, view one of you guys as selling sex. 
you get money for sex because because somebody somebody's not you know wherever you fit if this applies to you somebody's not taking care of something and now the person have to go out and get sell a sex to get money as well for some of you small percentage of you guys I don't know clarify this um, five of wands how does power one partner family demanding unrealistic expectation high ma maintenance and diva and this is over here with the empress it's clarifying the gift and the empress so some of them think that you feel like you're the best thing since sliced bread but you are you are the empress but <laughs> you know because the empress could come across as a diva like diana ross if you know diana ross she's always known as being a diva and she's also an empress she's an empress energy so, yeah, they think that you're very demanding. Some of them think that you could sing. And it's funny I said that because this girl is singing on this um, card. Didn't even connect to that. Some of you could sing. Some of you could be artists. Some of you could be in the public singing. Some of you could be, you could be online singing. Clarify this Ten of Wands. How does power one partner family view them? It says crushed. You are hurting emotionally right now. You need time to heal before you jump in again. Dangling partial truths need an answer to shifting. So when I said this person is running from the from the empress, somebody could have ran away from you and left you crushed. You are hurt. Because I'm clarifying the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is somebody that um, have a lot of burdens. But they're carrying their burdens on their back. They This person is escaping in the dark. Going somewhere. And it, it's heading towards... Heading towards somebody that they used to be with, it seems like. Okay. I'm going to change this deck as well. About to let you guys go, but before I do that, let's clarify it a little more. Clarify this ten of wands. How does power one family? It says running, ghosting, disappearance, invisible. I told you, silence, frozen, no words, stone wall. Somebody disappearing. Somebody running away. So they family see them um, leaving the empress if they have children or married or. That they running away from them, heading towards. Something that they left behind. This, and on the bottom it says intuition. Heart song telepathy. My tongue. It says heart song telepathy and a knowing intuition. So somebody is stonewalling somebody using their intuition to ghost this situation and run back to potentially a Libra or a Taurus energy. Somebody they obsessed with, somebody they addicted to and have an infatuation with. You know how this plays out in your um in your life. Let me get some of these. Clarify this Empress. How do they feel about this Empress? You great at tackling challenges. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. How do they feel about this? Um, how do they view this Seven of Pentacles energy? The only em en energy that I got out as a sign is a Taurus or a Libra. A Taurus or a Libra. Strong Taurus and Libra. And Sagittarius. It says, Miss Parker, Miss Parker, can I talk to you, Miss Parker? So when I wrote this song, if you, when I wrote this song, why this song is in my head? Well, this song right here is playing in my head. I'm trying to drown it out, but it's playing in my head. And it says, anything you want in life, you have to hustle and fight. We have to make it out. We have to make it out. Yeah. So somebody running off to somebody they really want to be with. And this is what this card is. This is a, basically an a Empress card. It says, Miss Parker, Miss Parker, can I talk to you? This is from Friday. If you know the Friday, when Miss Parker was in her neighborhood, bending over water in her, her, grass, her grass. So they see you as somebody very sexy. Somebody, yeah, I already explained that. Somebody that is, um, 
somebody that is worth being with. It says loving you is easy so you don't have a huge ego. You're very old-fashioned and traditional. You, you're very feminine. This is how they family view you. You take care of your health. So if you have gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. Because it kind of started to get a little wonky. But yeah, I'm going off to Pal 2. Till next time, entirely. Pal 2, if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you. Hopefully you could get some insight in your situation when you view this reading, whenever you view it. Hopefully you guys are in good spirits. And shout out to my subscribers, No O. What's popping with you guys? Hopefully you're holding up in this heat if you're in the States. And shout out to the Kansas. It's your season. So shout out to you guys if you're watching. And if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. The title is, How Does Your Partner Family View You? So we have here, take what apply, leave the rest, okay? So we have here the Knight of Swords, the Judgment, the Will of Fortune, and the Empress in the Reverse. Now the Empress came out in Power 1, but the Empress was in the Upright. Now with this Will of Fortune here, and then this Empress in Reverse. An Empress in Reverse is somebody who neglects themselves, who's unbalanced. Some of them don't have any children. If they have children, they don't take care of the children. They're someone that's codependent as well. And then you have it here with this Will of Fortune. And the Will of Fortune is somebody who is somebody that's happy, joyful, successful. One that closes out karmic cycles. Very abundant. Always on a new level. So, I don't know if somebody's, I don't know if your partner mother is looking at you like this or some female and a family view you like this because this is contradicting. I'm definitely going to clarify that though. You have the judgment here. The judgment is all about coming to a realization. So, what I'm getting here for some of you guys, take what apply, leave the rest again. Some, how can I say this? I don't like, hold on, hold on. Because I don't like offending people, but hold on. Now, I don't know what type of people you date in. Somebody here could be Mexican as well. With the judgment, somebody could be a Pisces. With the lover, somebody could be a uh, Sagittarius or a Gemini. With the will, okay, I said that already. So the will of fortune, I said that the Empress is a, a Libra and a Taurus. I don't know if you're dating somebody toxic. Let's just start out with that. Because the Empress in reverse is toxic. And then down here you have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is somebody that's very, how can I say, come across cold. This is a person that don't smile in your face. This is somebody that if you want to talk to them, you can talk to them. But they want to hear facts. They don't want emotions involved. They want all logic involved. So, and then you have the lovers over here. So this is an indication of you and the partner. So let's start over here because this is the more good energy. So I'll start over here. The um, family see you as somebody like your relationship could be like a beauty and a beast type of relationship. Like you're the one that looks like if you don't understand a beauty and a beast story. The Disney beauty and a beast story or the play whatever beauty and beast. It's like someone that is very graceful. Somebody that's very calm. Somebody that's very loving, charming. Somebody that's very easy on the eye as well. You're dating somebody that's very toxic. Somebody that's very ignorant and arrogant. Somebody that have vices. Somebody that has demons, basically. They family see you as somebody that can tame the beast in a way. But something happened here. Because then you have the three of swords. You have the judgment. You have the knight of swords. So they family see you as somebody that is... Somebody that shouldn't necessarily be with them. Somebody that's going to be hurt if you be with them. This person is going to hurt you. Because you seem so delicate and so fragile. But some of you probably injure yourself getting stressed out about this person. Because this is a self-harm card. Some way, somehow, this family is toxic. You have seen that they're toxic. They're mad that they see. They're mad that they 
they mad that you see that they are toxic. Some of them believe that you think that they're better than you, that you, shit, there's a whole lot of confusion going on. This, this, this shit is, this is shape-shifting energy. I'm going to start clarifying this because this is shape-shifting a lot. Clarify this Queen of Swords. How does this Queen of Swords feel about Pal 2's? It says exit plan, the other lover, hoity-toity, negativity. Because this is going to get right to what I'm trying to say. Because when the energy starts shape-shifting, shape I get frustrated. And then I get like, enough is enough. Because I don't like toxic people. So, let's see what's going on here. It says exit plan. Somebody wants out, but they aren't making a move. Yet be prepared for sudden changes. So this got to be with this Knight of Swords. Because I was going to say, somebody is very impulsive. Somebody is young. They come in and hot. Come in and out hot. So they blow hot and cold. This person is a person who likes to argue. They like drama. They like to war. Then you have the other lover. Still involved with the past cheating secret, affection, secret affections. So this is what this lover card is. When I said that you know, you innocent and like you're going to get hurt. This person have a queen of swords at home. She could be the empress in reverse. Because it's the same energy. It's like this person have somebody at home that doesn't treat them well. Very, they don't care about their emotions too much. You somebody that's very loving and caring and care about their emotions. But they feel that you would get hurt. It says hoity-toity, champagne, taste, bare budget, arrogant, and pretentious. So... Somebody feel that you guys are hoity-toity, like you don't have enough to be with their family, but somehow the family took you on, and now you're causing stress and drama in the family's life. It says negativity, like a dark cloud above. You are depressed and have extreme mood. So whoever this Knight of Swords is with this Queen of Swords and this Empress and Reverse Energy, this is how they feel about you guys. Yeah, this, this, boy, this is getting a bit much. <laughs> this be, this be a bit much when this happens like this. Clarify this Empress in reverse with this Wheel of Fortune. What do they feel about Pal 2's partner? How does the family feel about them? It says bitterness, resentful, anger, words, shocking, turmoil, trouble, unexpected, third party attachment, peers, Lusting. Yeah, I just said it. It just came out another way. Same situation came out another way. They feel like, how they feel is like there's a third party here. They're being influenced by a third party. They're not outgrowing this energy. They're very immature and very toxic. This person say hurtful things, very resentful, very ignorant, very arrogant. Kind of like a empress. I mean, a, it's the emperor here. So this is the Empress in Reverse. I don't even need to explain it anymore. This is the Empress in Reverse. This is what they look like. This is just the basics of how they look. They could look worse than that because there's a lot that goes into the Empress in Reverse. The Empress in Reverse could delve in spell work, mental manipulation. There's a lot going on. But something happened here. It's like the tower moment happened. And what happened was it's a lusting, a third party. This person... Let me draw this back. Power two. How does your partner family view you? They view you as somebody that's cheating on their family, somebody that's hurting their family, somebody that's toxic, somebody that is callous, somebody that has no emotions, somebody that's the king of wands, somebody that travels a lot, have a lot of partners. You can have baby mothers all over the place if you're a male. If you're a mother... Or female, you could have different baby fathers. You're betraying people. You're very deceitful. You present yourself one way, but you're another way. Somebody had a temp a, a painful ending here. They feel that they you 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 put your put their family member through the ringer basically, and now they want just peace, harmony, and balance. Yeah, it's a painful ending. Finality here in the page of wands here. So they feel like you're just going to go off and do the same thing all over again to somebody else. They feel that you're immature. And they feel that they um their family member is too good for you. Because, yeah. Uh, 
That was a bit much. So you know where you fall at in these pals. So, yeah, if you have gotten something from it, like, and you know, subscribe. I'm going off the pal three. Till next time in Tarotland. As well, whoever was hurt here, they family feel like your family was using them. You was using them for things, to get money, to have them drive you around, to run errands and stuff like that. So they just feel like you just really did a disservice to, yeah, to their family member. Till next time. How to, real quick, before I go to pile three, if any of you guys had an immigration situation, a.k.a. somebody was brought to America and the person brought you to America to help you get your citizenship, they felt that you used the person to get your to get their citizenship and all you wanted to do was run around America with other people. Meanwhile, you have the family member being abused by you guys. Till next time. That that was a download that I didn't want to say, but I, it had to be said. So, till next time in Tarot Land. Pal 3, if you picked this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully you could get some messages and hopefully you're doing well. Shout out to my subscribers and all oh, for holding the vibes, building the channel. And subscribing to the channel. If you're a visitor, welcome returning visitors. Welcome back. The title today is How Does Your Partner Family View You? Take what apply and leave the rest. Hold on one second. Okay, pop three. How your partner, how does your partner family view you? They view you as somebody that's very strong. Somebody's could be a Leo, somebody that's strong, somebody that's courageous, somebody that's had to come have the convictions to tackle this person when i say conviction you have the strength to tackle this person when i say tackle i mean just to be with them you are somebody that's calm you somebody that's compassionate somebody that's spiritual on top of this you have the star in reverse the star in reverse is somebody that has lost their faith somebody that needs to heal themselves somebody in despair somebody that's hopeless so they feel that you came into their life to heal them. I can't show you the card because she doesn't have no clothes on. Somebody here could be a Leo, Aquarius, a Scorpio, could be a Pisces, but they feel like you came into their family's life to heal them because they was very destructive and they was very, they didn't feel good about themselves. They felt like they didn't have no hope or inspiration. They didn't have a lot of security within themselves. They was kind of insecure. They feel like it was the universe who brought you to this person with the judgment here. It was a, uh, some of you, they think that you are, uh, with the, with the, um, strength and the judgment here. They think that you are, some of you are spiritual and you're a spiritual, um, light worker or you're a star seed or you're earth angel, but you was here to help transform this person. This is for some of you guys. Take what apply and leave the rest. They feel that you are a very transformative person with this. And this is for Arcanas. So you came into this person's life to really help this person, whether it worked out or not, whether they took your advice or took your help or not. I don't know because it didn't come out yet. But with the Page of Pentacles, so you were somebody in the upright, somebody that was offering somebody in the reverse something. So this person is a person that think they know everything. They're very bad with money. They're very immature when it comes to money. This person needs somebody to help them mature, and you was the person. But this person was too busy being immature, being toxic. Some of them have bipolar um, disorder or some emotional or personality disorders. They was really busy celebrating with other people, turning their back on you, you guys. You have the Seven of um, Cups in reverse. So... And then they have, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Upright. So somebody here, they family, because this is actually somebody's family. Somebody family is looking like you came to help, again, to help them, to rescue them out of this uncertainty. Because Seven of Cups in reverse is, is uncertainty. There's a lot of uncertainty there. But I'm going to start clarifying this. Clarify the Seven of Cups. How does Pile 3 partner family view them Ugh. yeah with this uncertainty this person wasn't go was going through life with uncertainty with a with when i said the three of cups and then you have the 
three of cups and then the seven of cups in reverse that's like four of cups four of cups is somebody living a stale life a bored life somebody who nothing makes them happy they was in depression basically and you came along they looked at you just like a, another conquest just somebody another notch on a headboard somebody just to deal with but you were somebody actually to come help them but they treated you like how they treated the rest some of you walked away from this person or it, it broke up. I feel it. It's not here, but I feel it. Clarify the Three of Cups with this um, Seven of Cups in reverse. How does Pile Three partner family view them? It says other lover. Still involved with the past, cheating self, self, still. This came out in Pile Two. They don't want me to get this message out. Still involved with the past, cheating, secret affection. Hoity Toity wants to come out and teasing. These cards came out in PAL 2. I believe it was PAL 2 or PAL 1. All these cards, they're coming back out. This person was not... Hmm. They weren't serious. This is how they partner family view you. As somebody that came through to help them, to heal them, to save them. But they was busy with this Ten of Pentacles at some, still going behind your back with this person that they already had something with. Somebody they should have let let that go, but they didn't let it go. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles here. They had already set up uh, like a family, had a family here or something like that. And they kept going back to the child's mother. This is if you were like a third party unknowingly or knowingly. says gold digger in it for what they can get money hungry self 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 serving yeah so they was using you for money they already had a family established and they was trying to use you for whatever you can give them with this page of pinnacles clarify this judgment it says escape love and love is an emotional escape for you be sure you are getting involved for the right reasons. So if it's not them who's feeling this way, it's you who was doing this. You came into their life and did this to them. You broke up their happy home or you interjected in their happy home. Or this person met you, you were supposed to help heal them, and then they already had somebody at home running back to them. But whichever way you put it, it was just an escape. Somebody here was un. I can't show you. Wait, I'll show you her. Somebody here was unhealed. That's the star in reverse. Not healed, unhealed, living a stale life. Somebody who's a show off, need to prove themselves insecure, using you as somebody to get clout off of. Because you are the strength. You are somebody who can tame your demons. Somebody who have done the ill in the healing. This person didn't do any in the healing. And this is how they family view you guys. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. How does Pal 3 partner family view them? says an offer screenshots getting evidence proof facts 